Oh, hi. We're rolling. <laughs> hi, kids. <laughs> it's Wonder Ruby Hill. Uh, Kevin's doing dishes. Of course he's doing some sort of housekeeping work whenever I'm doing these weird videos. And he's shirtless. But I can't show you this time. You're a dork. You got tan How do you have tan lines? It's like you're red and white. You look like a damn candy cane. Anyway, alright. Point it. Point it that I'm trying to do here. It's for all my, uh, wonder... Try throw something at me, of course. Stop! This is for all my, uh, my, my, my kids, my wonder kids, my wonder roos, my tossers, my, my wonder tossers. One up. One love. Yeah. Tomorrow night, um, can you shut her up? Please? Thank you. Fucking dog. Damn it, Kathleen. Anyway, tomorrow night, July 17th, right? Yes, July 17th. I've said that date three times. Um, at 7 o'clock, title of show is opening Broadway. Ah, crazy! Um, and I will be there. Uh, they ended up selling balcony seats for the public. And I'm all the way up with the beds, uh, but it should be cool. Um, I don't really care, because I've seen it four times already in previews, and it started the 5th, and today is the 16th, and I've seen it four times, including last night. Um, that was the last night previews, fucking unbelievable show, and in the audience was... You cried. No, I'm not crying, but... Um, was Joanna Gleason. And, um, for those nerds out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those who don't know, Joanna Gleason is a Tony Award winning actress. Now she's been on TV, she's been in movies. She's fantastic. She's married to Chris Sarandon, that's Susan's ex husband. And, um, who was also, uh, uh, the prince in Princess Bride. Yeah. Now you know who that is. Okay, good. IMDB, everyone. Anyway. Or IVDB. That's the yeah, International Broadway. Anyway. Okay, so, yeah, Joanna Gleason was there, um, enjoying the show. She is a super tosser herself. She saw it off Broadway, and, um, yeah, it was just crazy because. I met her afterwards, she came out of the stage door, and I just approached her, I was like, Miss Gleason, may I have your autograph? She signed, she started taking a picture, and I told her, like, Into the Woods was my first exposure to Broadway. Shut up, Kevin, because I'm more cultured than you. All right? Wash your damn dishes. Dish dish anyway. Into the Woods, because... Kevin, I put on, and ten minutes into the first song, fell asleep. I know. That is reason for divorce. And I ain't even married. What? It was not, it is not boring. No one's gonna like you now. Anyway, it's the woods. I was in seventh grade, Mrs. Leopold class, in Hop Hog Middle School. She came in and she says, I'm doing a show across the street in the high school, and I have the original Broadway people on tape here. And I was like, okay, whatever. I have no idea what the hell this is about. Whatever. Put it in. She pops it in. Once upon a time, bottom. That's all. That's all it took. Um, I was crying hysterically. Well, on the inside, because I would got my ass kicked in seventh grade. But anyway... Um, I fell in love with the show. It was my first, it was my doorway. It was my gateway drug to Broadway. <laughs> right. I thought it was um, and um, I just became obsessed with that show. And Oddly enough, I didn't go see it across the street at the high school because I didn't want to see any sort of high school production done. So, whatever. Um, I fell in love with, obviously, The Witch, played by Miss Benedetta Pietal. And, um, 
the baker's wife, which actually, who actually is my favorite character, and I expressed that to Miss Gleason last night, who was so gracious, so nice. It was amazing. I was crying. I was just like, oh, you won the Tony. Love you. Shut up. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Get all emotional again. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay, well, you want to meet like Mariah Carey and Kelly Clarkson. I actually want to meet like real people with talent. Ooh. I like Kelly Clarkson, but Mariah can jump off the cliff, off the cliff, whatever. Anyway, so last night was last night previews. Fucking awesome show. Rocking on. Tomorrow is opening night. Everyone in the cast crew is pooping their pants right now. I can totally tell. But you all did it. So happy for you. I cannot wait for tomorrow. You'll hear me all the way up there, I promise, with all the other tossers. And, um, you're all great. Jeff and Hunter and Susan and Heidi and Larry and Michael and Courtney and Benjamin and Jen and Leah and I mentioned all these other people in my other video blog. Everybody at the La Fion. Oh! Yay! And, um, thank, a big thanks to Mr. Kevin McCollum for helping out, bringing it to Broadway. Um, I don't know, if, and if anybody doesn't know what the title show is, um, you obviously have not watched any of my recent vlogs, um, but it is a musical about you guys writing a musical. About you guys writing a musical. Mind fucky, yes. But it's awesome. And within a 90 minute period, you are taken through a four year timeline from its inception to where it is right now. And um, it's brilliant. It's funny, it's original. It's heartwarming, it's a tearjerker, it makes you pee your pants, everything. Um, please go support this show. I know a year ago I was supporting another show, which shall remain nameless. Um, which I still love, by the way. I used to go see it. But this is, this is up there as well, because both of the shows are very original, to a certain extent. Obviously, one had was based on a movie, um, but the script is amazing, um, and the uh, title of the show is completely original, all original music, funny, oh, God, it's just so great. And if you are a creative person, an avid theater goer, um, or just like Kevin, who knows absolutely nothing about um, pop culture slash theater slash um, anything important. Um, I mean, it's just you just you watch the show and the songs just hit you. The acting is great. You just fall in love with everyone. You want to be their best friend by the end of the show. It's great. You liked it. Didn't you? You did. Sure, it's on the couch. Anyway. Um, it's, it's amazing. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. Uh, you know, I never see you wrong. I believe another show that I supported last year nominated for a Tony. The point if it didn't win, it was nominated. Okay? Whatever. I met Joanna Gleason last night. I met I met Burned Up, which was just a couple years ago. Maybe they'll both be at the opening night tomorrow? I don't know if I'm getting into the party. I doubt I am. Um, I wonder if they were there. Both of them? At the same time. I'd be like, same children will listen. Don't say that, of course you meant to have children. Stop it. 
Oh my god, I gotta go. Anyway, all right, this is way too long. Go see Title Show. You have to go see it. It's just amazing. You will just like you just be like, oh my god, I've said that. Oh my god, that person sang that song and it just killed me. And it's just I don't even know. You have to go see it. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm babbling, aren't I? I'm sorry. It's so fucking incredible. That's why. Kevin's doing the whatever. I will be doing a video blog tomorrow night. Hopefully I'll get fancy, fancy people on camera slash pictures of me going like, eh. Um, but, um, that's my phone. Out of area. It's so adorable there. Anyway, um, you all rock. And, um, I can't wait for tomorrow night. And, yay, it's finally happening. All right, I'm going now. I'm geeking out. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Oh,